The ERV says, give yourselves to God, stand against the devil, and he will flee from you. Amen. Now look at 1 Peter 5. 1 Peter 5. First Peter 5. Passing your eyes on it. First Peter 5 and verse 8. Now verse 6 again, when he's talking about the devil here, it's kind of it's in conjunction with, it says, Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him for he cares for you. Now he tells you what to do with all your cares. Cast them on him. He said, be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Is that what your Bible says? Now, if he has to seek whom he may devour, then this speaks great volumes to us. Because then what does that mean? He has to seek whom he may devour. Opposite of that being that he can't just devour anyone. He's seeking those. Now notice that Peter in, has, has, uh, has said he's like a lion. Well, if you know anything about a lion, and if you've watched any of these shows about lions and how they attack and all this type of thing, why they'll prowl around and look over the crowd and find the biggest, strongest one. Because he wants to show his mighty power. Is that the way it is? <laughs> He's going to... He's going to find the biggest, healthiest animal, preferably male. And he's going to come out and show his mighty power. And he's going to take him down. And he's going to devour him. They didn't want to do it all, is it? No. <laughs> what they do is search, search out the weakest one. They'll search, the, they'll search the crowd. They'll search a, one that's over here to itself. Preferably nothing strong. They can detect whether they're strong or not. The weakest one. Maybe one that's sick. Yeah, out there on its own. And that line goes and seeks that. When they find that, they begin to work on that one. And they will devour him or it. Now, here he says, Be sober and be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Verse 9 says, Whom resist steadfast in the faith. In the faith. Whom resist. Now, somebody says, but I'm just little old me. I can't resist a big old devil like that. I can't do that. I can't resist a big old devil. He said resist him in the faith. What faith? Faith in the Word. Amen. Faith in God. Faith in what your Bible says. Resist him. Let me see if I can read this from something else here. If I have it. The NLT in, in, in verse 8 says, uh, Stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy. Stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy. The devil. The CEB says, be clear-headed. Clear-headed. What does that mean you need to know? 
Does that mean you need to be thinking clearly? Keep alert. Your accuser, the devil, is on the prowl. Like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. It says, resist him, standing firm in the faith. You believe you can do that? If you don't believe you can do that, all you need is more of the Word of God. Amen? Amen. Now, let's turn our Bibles to Ephesians 6. And then we'll wrap it up here in just a minute. Ephesians chapter 6. Verse 